What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Modern Cube Draft. This time we're doing a stipulation uh, submitted by Steven, uh, also known as uh, Recon Bravo Team. Uh, the stipulation is that we take every Planeswalker we see, and we have a pack with no... Oh, we have a, Ch a Chandra Nalar. Not the best Planeswalker, but it's got to be done. Um, and that's it. So the stipulation is take every Planeswalker we see. Oath of, Nissa, Oath of Nissa, Coalition Relic, and Chromatic Lantern are exceptions. Uh, so we can take those over Planeswalkers because they really help out the deck. They really make it, make it possible to actually cast our Planeswalkers. And um, <clears throat> the Flipwalkers do not count. So we don't have to take this Nissa. But I think that's probably better than the Chandra. So I think we're just taking this. I think it still counts as a Planeswalker. But we don't have to take it as a creature. If uh, Steven, if you're in the chat and you can let me know if that's correct, let me know in the next 30 seconds and I will pick the Chandra. Uh, and also we get three vetoes throughout the course of the draft. We don't have to actually play every Planeswalker we end up drafting. So we can draft more than we play, obviously, because otherwise that might be crazy. Uh, but yeah, we can veto three things. So I just want to make sure uh, we can save our vetoes. So Recon Bravo team, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. All right, I'm highlighting, I'm highlighting Nissa. When's Dominaria dropping, and would its draft have Ixalan packs? No. No, they're never going to mix. Uh, you're never mixing packs. Um, okay, flip, flip walkers can count if you want them to. That made sense to me because she's literally a Planeswalker. Um, and I think she's better than Chandra. Um, and no Planeswalker in this pack. So as per um, the deck we're likely going to be going to be putting together, I'm going to take this Sylvan Carry added because uh, it lets us fix everything uh you say solemn but i'm pretty sure sylvan carry is just a better solemn comes down on turn two and it, it adds all colors where solemn just picks one so you guys think solemn over sylvan carry interesting we already have a nissa so we're already in green so we're gonna take sylvan carry here oh well, this is one of my favorite planeswalkers in the cube yeah, I like you, you gotta remember how many four mana planeswalkers there are in the cube. So being able to go Sylvan Carry Add on two into a four mana planeswalker is pretty much what you want to be doing, I think. Alpstrom, thank you so much for the donation, and Nature's Little Treasure with the Tier 1 sub. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are awesome. Connor Ryan, we can't take the Finks. We have a stipulation going on. <laughs> like, I don't... The stipulation is we take all the Planeswalkers. We're not just randomly picking a Soren, dude. We also didn't randomly pick this Sylvan Carry added. We're not. That's why we didn't take the other card. This fight we didn't take Boga Ram Gang. <laughs> it's funny because I explained it twice. <laughs> the stip's so nice, I had to explain it twice. Uh, I think it's Twilight Mire here. I, I think I'm gonna value lands very, very highly. Um, maybe Day of Judgment though. Hmm. The problem with taking the lens and uh, it's it's silly. But it's a real thing because we, depending on how many Planeswalkers we get, I don't know how many we're going to get. We might just not have that much room for playable. So I'd rather my mana base be what's fixing. I'm going to take the Twilight Mire. Having double white is not a guarantee by any means. So it looks like we're Abzan for the moment until we see other Planeswalkers. But I, I don't want to get too locked into an Abzan because if we do that and then we draft like a Chandra, it's not great for us. So... um. I might just... I Like, I'm looking at Baneslayer Angel, Staff of Nin, and Go for the Throat. Those of you who have uh, watched previous streams of mine, you will know that I'm a big Staff of Nin fan. Like, in this kind of deck, I, I think we're going to want to prioritize any mana fixing behind Planeswalkers. I think it's probably just Go for the Throat. We can't say that we're, we're white enough to be double white, and Staff of Nin is probably on the high end. Staff of Nin might also come back. 
That is a card that people have shown very little, uh, li very little respect for. Where are my planeswalkers at? Hmm. Well, we're still building uh, with the intent of having lots of planeswalkers. Staff of Nine Inch Nails is busted, though. You're right. That was my thought as well, Dinga Sig. The Staff of Nine is tough when most planeswalkers are going to be expensive. So I, I'm already presuming our high end is going to be hard to, uh, to manage here. I think it's actually one of these two lands. Probably Lava Claw Reaches. I like Ultimate Price a lot, but I'm going to assume we get at least one Red Planeswalker. So. Hmm. Where are my Planeswalkers at? Dang. Caves of Quillos is actually good for us. So let's just cast Soren. So we'll just take Caves of Quillos. It's too bad Eldritch Revolution doesn't let you... Um, doesn't let you... What's it called? Sacrifice a creature to search for a Planeswalker that costs two more. Then we can sacrifice a four drop to get a Soren. That would be pretty sweet. That's the world I want to live in. Nissa, Steward of Elements. Right into the pile. I have to assume Nature's Little Treasure is Juposhi. Did Juposhi just make a new account and sub under a new account? Is that what happened here? Because that's hilarious, if so. Huntmaster is kind of like a Planeswalker. It's funny because I thought that same thing when I opened that pack. I was like, well, Huntmaster's kind of a Planeswalker. I really want to take this Bloodbraid Elf, but here's a problem. If we hit Nyssa... <laughs> With Bloodbraid Elf, it's just terrible. So I actually think Battlefield Forge is probably the better pick here. It still might be Bloodbraid Elf. I want to take the Forge. I like fixing, and I cannot lie. Valorous Stance is good. I think it's a fine removal spell. It kills all the it kills a lot of relevant creatures that you want to get rid of. I would take Gaze of Granite, but it it does kill planeswalkers, which is less than ideal. Condemn seems good. Alright, we're getting a bunch of good white removal. Wow, mind control? I'm gonna take the mind control, even though I'm probably not playing it. That is a surprisingly late mind control. Uh we actually have a good amount of removal. I'll just take Blood Gift Demon. That's a big win condition that draws us cards. Like, we already have Go for the Throat, Valor Stance, and Condemn. Alright, so now we're just like an Abzan deck with uh, with a uh, Nissa in it, unfortunately. Where are the Planeswalkers? We found th two pla three Planeswalkers? Actually, if we find three per pack, it's still nine Planeswalkers, so... Even with the crunk cup. <laughs> oh, Lord. Where are my planeswalkers at? I'm getting mad. Okay, just to make sure, there are no planeswalkers in this pack. This is a good pack, though. Maelstrom Pulse, Path Dexile, and I like both of these lands. This land is helpful for the Nissa, but we don't actually have any red cards yet. So I don't really want to pick up too many red lands when we actually don't have red cards yet. I think it is Pulse. Pulse actually works perfect for our deck. I don't know if we can take Master of the Wild Hunt just because he looks like a plant. It, apparently any creature, any green four mana creature that makes wolves is also kind of like a Planeswalker, apparently. Whether it's Hunt Master of the Fells or Master of the Wild Hunt, they're all kind of like Planeswalkers. So that's convenient. 
I'm going to take this Maelstrom Pulse. I'm really hoping for non-blue, not uh, non-red Planeswalkers, even though we have two red Fixing Lands. Because that just seems good. Hinterland Harbor is pretty perfect. Utopia Sprawl could also be good, but I don't know how many forests we're going to run is the problem. If we get a Fertile Ground, I would probably take that. Sputnik, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. I think we're going to take Hinterland Harbor here. <laughs> Carrie Zeb's not a planeswalker. But the monkey might be. Actually, Garrick is a good one. I will take a Garrick here, as you uh, already know. Oh, Gar another Gar- Oh, the mother load. The Planeswalker to end all Planeswalkers. And it also puts us squarely in five colors. We could take Garrick Wildspeaker, which is very, very good. But I think it's actually Nicol Bolas here because, boy, that's the dude you want, right? Yeah, it's got to be Nicol Bolas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four cards are coming back. I don't think Nicol Bolas is going to be one of them. But maybe. Because this is obviously the better card, and it ramps us to a future Nicol Bolas. It also ramps us to these two guys. It's also easier on the mana. I think it's got to be Garrick here. I hate doing it so much. Recon Bravo team said must take Bolas. All right, done. Oh, Farseek is actually really good for us. I will take a Farseek. New part of Stip. <laughs> well, fair enough. Can't argue with that. Literally can't because it's Recon Bravo team Stip. So I have a uh, Celestial Colony. It could be good. It casts our white cards and our blue cards. So we have 13 playables right now. I like Palladium Mirror. Missed the Planeswalker. What? I passed the Soren. Oh my god. I totally didn't see it. Did it have art? I feel like if it didn't have art, then I... Oh, that's terrible. I already messed up. I ruined everything. I'm going to take Celestial Colonnade. Wow, it even had art? I think I just don't have eyes for certain planes. This is why I've asked you guys. I'm like, all right, are there any planeswalkers in here I'm just missing? I think I just miss them sometimes. Kid Cabbage, four months in a row. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Now my day is ruined. Oh, dang it. This is bad. It might just be Jade Light Ranger here. There's no, there's no Planeswalkers in this pack, right? Oh, my God. I can't believe I did that. That's so bad. Murder Shredcap's fine, too. A little hard on the mana, but we do have Battlefield Forge. I'm going to take the Jade Light Ranger. It can hit lands. It's also pretty big. All right. Planeswalkers. I don't see any planeswalkers. I think I'm just like I don't I don't see planeswalkers, guys. I'm sorry, I don't see uh I'm gonna take this goblet shrine. Easily better than any other card in this pack. Hey, Master of the Wild Hunt came back. That's pretty good. No planeswalkers, no planeswalkers. I bet the Soren Markov actually comes back, so. Um, that's fair to count it as a veto. I haven't used any vetoes yet, so I would actually count that as a veto then, if that's... Sulfur Springs? Might be duplicate here, actually. We have a lot of... We have some ramp. We have Farseek, Sylvan Carry added. Jaylet Ranger and Nissa help us get to lands. Yeah, I think duplicate's a little safer here. Galta. Alright, so, uh... The other Garrick did not come back. Eh, take Disenchant. All Reclamation Sage is main deckable in this format. And Vengevine can go in the in the trash can.
All right, looking for planeswalkers in all the wrong places. Looking for planeswalkers. <laughs> Orzov Signet is great. Uh, it is helps us splash both. Oh, th you're in the wrong pile for one thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna hope you guys in chat are taking over the uh, the role of informing people when they ask for the stipulation. So. I think it's actually Orzov Signet. There's a lot of good removal in here. I like Angel. I like Vraska. Um, how do you like Hero's Downfall? Both of these say Planeswalker on them. I think Hero's Downfall is probably better than Vraska's Contempt. Exile is pretty good, though. Exile is good, especially if you're getting rid of something like this. Maybe it is Vraska's Contempt. Hmm... We do have Maelstrom Pulse. Go for the third duplicate. We got a lot of removal right now. I'm going to take the Braska's Contempt. Oh! That's exciting. And see, look. What, look, Elspeth has art. Gideon doesn't. So I, like, almost didn't even see this Gideon. I just saw a white card over here with some bad art. Definitely taking Elspeth here. That's pretty, pretty juicy. And maybe Gideon even comes back. Corn liberated. It's all coming together, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. And an Obnixilis. Oh, and another Soren. This pack is where the juice is. The Planeswalker juice, that is. And I don't know what that means, but we're taking this Karn and we're going to liberate him. Liliana of the Veil? Vale? This is the pack we want to be in. Hmm. Not a planeswalker, but kind of a planeswalker. I'm going to take this guy and maybe play him because boy is Consecrated Sphinx one of my favorite cards in the history of the world. Jace, Architect of Thought. Hmm. I think we're playing that, although I kind of want the Reflecting Pool. Gilded Lotus over Liliana Vale might have been a good pick. I agree with you there. Um, I think it's definitely Breeding Pool now that we have Consecrated Sphinx and Jace Architect of Thought. Breeding Pool is a great pickup for us. So, Flooded Grove also pretty good. All right. Oh, um, Koth is going to be one of my vetoes for obviously re for obvious reasons. Uh, he's terrible, and Flooded Grove is great. So that's my. Uh, we don't have to hate draft because it's uh. It's a league, not a queue. It's not. It's not a pod, so we're not going to be playing against it. Orzov Signet, also perfect. Lots of double black, double white, and that will. Uh, this deck is actually coming together pretty well. Right now we need two cuts, and we have a pretty reasonable mana base. So I technically have one veto left. Good to know. But what if they do? Well, that's a fair point. I mean, at that point, I hope we draw Maelstrom Pulse or Reclamation Sage. Or Disenchant. But. You're not wrong. You're, what if they do? You're not wrong, my friend. You're not wrong. The Gideon Jura came back, guys. The Gideon Jura came back. I'm tempted to cut the blue cards, even though we have a we now we have a ton of blue mana blue mana. Oh, Lotus Cobra? Oh my god, this deck has given us everything. I also like Journey to Nowhere. What's our removal looking like? Boop. Boop. Our removal's actually looking pretty good. Uh we'll take Lotus Cobra. Cascade Bluffs? I don't think we're playing it, but it's a it's a land. Who's Chad? Who are you talking about when you say Chad? 
I don't even know who that is. What's going on? Is that a meme? Oh, wow. Like, look at this abrupt decay. 14th pick abrupt decay? Silver Falcon, happy Friday the 13th. In, case, in that case, you just ride the Lobster Sphinx to victory. Oh, you get to draw an extra card at the beginning of your turn. Guess I'll just draw four here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Impersonator is a uh, a Planeswalker. You're not wrong there. All right, 28 cards. Good Lord. All right. I I would be hard. You'd be hard-pressed to get me to cut either of these guys. What are you guys saying right now? Is this a real PUBG meme you're making? I don't even know what's going on. I feel like Happy Chicken Sunday Happy Chicken Sunday, nature's little treasure who may or may not be Juposhi. Oh Lord. Okay, okay. This is our removal. What is the worst of it? We can probably cut duplicate for now. We have a lot of... People like to call Gideon Chad. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's getting ready for some beach volleyball, guys. That's not a big deal. Yeah, I think Valor Stance is one of the more narrow pieces of removal. I also cut duplicate because we have a lot of, of high end. And I'd much rather have all of these instead of a duplicate. So, I think Blood Gift Demon can probably go. Yep, that was another one I was going to say. And we got ooh, what, two more cuts to make. Ugh. Uh, Sylvan Advocate is a card I don't really care about that much. Rory Dared, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate the support. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. I am going to cut probably Sylvan Advocate. I think we just said that. I'm okay with it. Advocate is good protection for walkers. You're not wrong. I'll put them right back in until we decide. All right, that's fair. I think we might be able to cut Rexage because we do have Karn and Maelstrom Pulse and Abrupt Decay to do that job. If we need Rexage, um, we can bring it back in. I mean, if we're cutting if we're cutting Vraska's Contempt, we might as well cut Liliana the Veil. That's actually harder on the mana because you would need it earlier. What's our mana looking like? One, two, three, four. I could see cutting Hero of Blade Hold. I I have been underwhelmed with Condemn as well. I agree with that. All right, so we'll try it like this. I, I could actually play 41. We do have 17 lands along with Signet, Carry Added, Lotus Cobra, and Farseek, so we have enough mana-producing cards. I actually... Okay, here's, here's a hot take, a controversial take. Um, I'm not a big Liliana of the Veil fan. I think most of the time, I don't want to discard the cards that she's making me discard. So, maybe we do take out Lily and bring back in, like, a Rexage or a Condemn. Maybe that is better. Or, we take out Lily and bring in Mind Control. Hmm. I wonder if that's a better way to go. Our blue lands are looking good. I'm going to take out this Cascade Bluffs. We do have Hinterland Harbor, Flooded Grove, Celestial Colony, and Breeding Pool, which is pretty good. Yeah, if we're not discarding things like Lingering Souls or Undead Gladiators, I <laughs> uh, don't really care. I think Vraska's Contempt is actually very good. Um, uh, removal that kills anything, including like Grave Titan and Frost Titan and Sun Titan, like all those things. Um, <laughs> that's your opinion about Lily. I respect that, but you're wrong, and I hate you. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Love it. I would, I would actually consider bringing Wildfire in, but our red man is not that great, and I don't, I don't really want to bring this in. One thing I do like about Cascade Bluffs is that it single-handedly helps cast these. But you already have to have a blue source to do that. So if this is just an island instead, it also does the same thing. So I think this is the deck. I like this. All right. So we're going to have to... Oh, also we have we have this Nissa for three. So actually, that's totally fine. Sort by color. This is going to be a... Ooh, beautiful. 
All right, so what do we got? Green one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna have to go to eight green, unfortunately. But green is gonna help us get every other thing we need. Uh, red, we have one, two, two red sources. One mountain seems okay. Actually, we only have one red card. We don't even need a mountain. We're gonna live dangerously off Lotus Cobra, Sylvan Carry added, uh, Lava Claw Reaches, and Battlefield Forge, I think. Maybe. We might need one mountain. Swamp Arenos. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. That seems more than fine. Three. Uh, four, five, six, seven, seven blue sources. That seems pretty okay. We can probably get down to six, to be quite honest. So, guys, Tron Series 100, let's take this deck for a walk. A Plains walk. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. And white mana, we probably don't need to... We prop... Mm, maybe we do. All our, all our white cards are double white. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Got on a seven green. I think this is okay. I think this will do. Like we can't forget about the all these guys: the Sylvan Carry, the Los Cobra, the Far Seek, and the Orzov Signet. Like those are very, those are very helpful. All right, let's see what happens. I'm excited about this deck. I think it looks sweet, and uh, it looks very ambitious. Let's put it that way. Are the pop-ups intentionally small now? On uh, I didn't mean to make them intentionally small. Uh, I don't want to cut the mountain because we actually only have two red sources outside of the outside of that, and I want to be able to get it with a far seek. Yes. Um, I think two seven drops is more than enough to ship this hand. Oh, uh, this is better. Oath of Nissa would have been sweet. I agree with you. They went to six as well. They went to five. Okay. It's not an island. Um, I actually can't keep an island here. It doesn't do anything for us. We need either a green source or a... Or a red source, you know, so we can just play a... Uh... Caleb Turtonwall. <laughs> no, it's Owen Dur Durward. Everybody knows that. Learn your magic pros, buddy. Oh, look at that. Look fashionably late to the party, like you do. I guess he's just on... Actually, he's early, right? Oath helps you cast Karn. Wow, that's a real Ralph Wiggum thing to say right there. Oath helps me cast my Karn. I don't know if that's true. Oh, look at this little guy. Hey, little cutie, what are you doing? Okay, well, now the green is real sad. But we haven't drawn a red... We haven't drawn our mountain yet either, which would have been the, the green source, so... Can't feel too can't feel too bad about that. And there's also no reason that we should only be drawing two lands. Yet. <laughs> no, don't listen to Robo NATO. That's the oath does not help you cast Karn. It might help you find a Karn. If it's in the top three cards. Top three Karns. <laughs> I'm going to take a hit from this guy because if we get Sylvan Carry added, we can just block it. Well, all right. That's terrifying. Now I will kill it because 
if we don't hit a, if we hit a green, I want to be able to play one of these things, and uh, I don't want to have to worry about having that guy on board with a sword. Also, it gets two triggers because of the fr the friggin' double strike. Come on, come on. Well, that's scary. That's scary because it's now two creatures. So you're definitely going to have something to equip with the sword. We really want a green source now, but... One time. One time. That's not it. Why would you give me that? No one even likes that color. Okay. Okay. Blue or green. Blue or green. Blue or green. Top five Planeswalkers of all time. Number one is Jason the Mind Sculptor. Just one of my favorite Planeswalkers. Number two is Nicol Bolas the Planeswalker. That card is bonkers. I feel like we might be dead. How much damage is this? Four, five, six, seven. This is eight damage, nine, ten damage, and they draw an extra card. Brutal. We don't even have the luxury of blocking with Lava Claw Reaches here, unfortunately. Yeah, we're definitely bringing in Reclamation Sage. Just because, I mean, Sword of Feast and Famine is more than enough of... Or Sword of uh, Fire and Ice is more than enough reason to to bring in the, the Rex Sage. Hey! That's pretty good. I don't know if we're still dead here, but probably two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're actually exactly dead if we block here. That's sad. Yeah, that said, we can't block here. We have to block a Rabble Master. If we kill the tokens with Pulse, they attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, and then. I don't know if pulsing the Rabble Master is actually. Actually, might have been better. Either way, we should have drawn more lands this game. Alright, Reclamation Sage comes in. Oh, I always think my opponent's like, what is he doing with these with these colors in this deck? Um, we're just gonna submit. I don't feel a reason. I don't feel I need to cut a card right now because we also uh, just because we didn't hit lands that game, we still have plenty of mana sources. We have twenty-one mana sources, so seems good. This actually seems great. Perfect hand. We might add another mana source. Uh, I can't see bringing duplicate because it's six mana. Um, I'd like to think by that point, and like all we saw was we saw a one one a two two or a one one a two two and a two one and a, and a bunch of one ones. Like we just didn't see the uh, the appropriate creatures for a duplicate. I mean, if they show us like a Bane Slayer or a Thundermile Hellkite, I can consider bringing it in. But we still have a lot of removal. Magic is a hard game. I 
So next turn we can just play Jade Light Ranger into Nissa or vice versa. Well, I feel like you were a you were a poor life choice, Rakdos Ruin. Get wrecked. Sure. I think we're abrupt decaying that. Actually, no, we have Reclamation Sage. Hugh, 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 hugh. All right, that's a good one. That makes it so we don't have to take damage here. Uh, yes, I will use this ability. Thank you for asking, Magic Online. Just in case. What are the chances that I meet a nice guy and settle down in your chat? Is that a reasonable alternative? To yeah, I could see. Yeah, I don't see why not. I think my chat is full of nice guys. So everyone is up to date on the new Star Wars channel. A character named Therm Scissor Punch, right? <laughs> God, why? Why are you the way that you are? Thank you for being a friend. Um, we're just oh, I got a Gideon next turn. That's pretty baller. Oh, oh, keep you on the top. Let's play an island in the sky. I don't know why I'm saying that. Okay, so my friend Chris put a Golden Girls button. My my friend Nifty Chris, I host him on, on Twitch a lot. Uh, he put a Golden Girls button with the theme song on his on his stream deck. And so he like had a video of him like showing it off. And so now I have that Golden Girls theme song stuck in my head. We need a white, another white source for Elspeth, too. But you know why we kept it? Because I don't care. That's why. Because I'm a maniac. And our hand is still very good. Okay, that's a little scary. I'll be honest with you. Where is your Elspeth now? Still on the top. Okay, okay. God, Connor Ryan, what is this? I have no idea what this is, but I will definitely watch this because it looks ridiculous. <laughs> I can't tell if that Therm Scissor Punch is a joke or not. Oh my God, please. Just why? I'm a little scared of this hero blade hold, not gonna lie, guys. God, hero blade hold is such a beast. White man off the top. Let, let, us, let us kill this hero blade hold. I feel like me allowing links in the chat was a mistake. You guys are really uh, going overboard here. I'm a man. Maybe they stacked them incorrectly. Oh, they didn't. Dang it. Well, we could hope. One could hope. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Greetings from uh, FLA. FLA. I mean, we can take seven here. I'm not too worried about it. I should be. I'm not. I will kill your imposing sovereign, though. I think. If we don't have a land on top, if we don't have a white man on top, can we at least get a Braska's Contempt? I 
F L A is like a weird abbreviation for Florida. It's like I don't know. Some people use it. It's weird. Deccan stone. Oh, all right. Now I'm just gonna crack my clue. Hi, doggy. It's a good blocker. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. now we got a game. Oh, it comes in a play tapped. Oh, make nah. Mistakes were made here. I think we're dead now. Should have killed the Imposing Sovereign still and then just played Sylvan, Car Sylvan Advocate and then we can block here. That was rough. I got so excited. So what can we do here? Hold on. Let's see if we're dead. We block here. We take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're not dead. Oh, no. We're, might no, we're actually exactly dead. We're, we're, go to we we're actually dead by less than one. More than one. So much punts. Oh my god, so sad. This is like the other thing about the the five colored planeswalker deck. It's really hard to play because you're you have to manage so many more things. Like if you're playing blue black, you just play your blue blue lands and your black lands. But if you're playing this five color deck, you have to like manage. There's more micromanaging, let's say. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we gotta. Oh, that's so annoying. So if we killed this, we'd have an extra blocker. We could block here. We could block here. We would still take eight. Um, and if they had any removal spell for Jade Light Ranger, we'd still be dead. Yeah. We were hoping they didn't do that. All right. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Um, do we want to change anything? Condemn might actually make the cut again. It's just good enough. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. We have, oh man, we have so many ways to do things. I'm going to take the mind control out, bring in Condemn. And for that, how many, what is our, I'm going to take out one island and add one, one good old fashioned planes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, we'll add a forest instead. I think forests are more relevant. All right, let's try this. Let's try this again. Mind control seems a little ambitious. Got a chance to catch your play through a league with my deck last night. Yeah, what'd you think, Josh? I like the deck a lot. I thought it was sweet. Um, I did think it was trying to be pulled in too many directions, though. And, like, I, I like the God Pharaoh's Gift. Um, my only concern with the God Pharaoh's Gift was that you just didn't have enough creatures in general. You know what I mean? Longtime fan lurker, thank you for the content over the years. Wow, X Nihilus, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Pig 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 is old school. And it also was uh, the inspiration for the subscriber badge. So, like, Godfarer's Gift is a card that I would 100% play in a deck because it's super cool. But you do have to sometimes realize when it is out of place, you know? But don't get me wrong. You, uh, you're. Oh, ah. Really? You're going to give me one land here? Okay. This is better. Any green source or blue source. Eh, oh, really? <laughs> wow. Magic the troll trolling. Dot com. Dot USA. All right. Well, fingers crossed. And we have lands. Wait. No, you wait. I got him. Get wrecked. Now they're going to wait. Or 
Well, the problem with keeping Twilight Mire is that we don't have a way to activate it. It's literally just a colorless land. We drew Lava Claw Reaches, so... Flooded Grove, why? We even did, we did add another green source, which is really sad right now. Thank you for being a friend. Oh boy. Any green or blue land, except Celestial Colonnade and Hinterland Harbor. Any forest or island. Anyone. Any green or blue source comes into play untapped. How can we add blue mana to our... How do we add green mana to our pool? How do we cast a Lotus Cobra? <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying right now. If you can tell me how to cast a Lotus Cobra, I'm more than willing to cast it. This isn't even an issue of like mana screw so much as just not drawing lands, dude. I don't understand that like, like this is literally my Magic Online. Welcome to your Magic Online life. If they had like a... Like, after I die, and they're like, this is your Magic Online life, and then they show you your life through Magic Online, like all your experiences, it's literally just land after land after land, or no no lands, or all lands, it's either one. I, Sal, Sal Randon, I like that you think I'm just not playing green spells, well, I don't know, I just can't play anything. I'm not going to play Farseek, I'm not going to play Sylvan Advocate, I'm not going to play, Lo I'm not going to play anything. Like, for turn after turn, I'm just not playing green spells. I'm going to go to the next game, unfortunately. No, we're not. We'll just play it out. We got time. Oh, sending the wrong thing on a chat that doesn't let you delete it. That is bad times, buddy. Well, on the bright side, we can add two green here, which is pretty nice. On the on the on the on the dim side, they have six, seven mana, and we have four, so. Oh, aggressive. Well, unfortunately they have Jace the Mind Sculptor on board, which is basically a removal, so. Um, add double green. Uh, yes. Add a black. Let's get, what are we getting here? Breeding pool? Now we got double green. Gauntlet Shrine? Probably a Gauntlet Shrine. Mm-hmm. 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 
Kill your James Brown. That guy's never dying. Hmm. What just happened? Wow, that was a good turn. Wow. That was an amazing turn. I was surprised there was no counterspell there. Grave Titan. Oh, Staff of Nin. That's actually not as bad as... Oh, well. That was sad, but... You know. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could Soren and plus one, put him to seven. Then he takes four or five, so then he just dies to Creeping Tar Pit, unfortunately. Yeah, Advocate is active. Maybe it's just Advocate and Nissa. One, two, three, four, five. So Nissa for three goes up to five. <laughs> Ooh. Well. I'm going to put you on the bottom and I'll put Elsman on top. Sylvan Avocado. All right. Here we go. I mean, Staff of Nin is really powerful in a card that we want to be able to deal with, but Maelstrom Pulse is in the graveyard now. I think our only other answer was Abrupt Decay, so it might just be stuck. And that is hard to overcome. Oh, I see. You're going to cast something absolutely ridiculous, and I don't know what it is. Oh, your own Soren Grim Nemesis. I see. Fascinating. Rex Sage is in our sideboard. I didn't feel like it was good enough to main deck, but it might just be. Well, now we're going to soar into your soaring. <laughs> Sad songs, they say. Put that Soren in the trash can. We don't want to attack because then they actually just go block, pump, have four tokens, then they attack our Soren. That's pretty good. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Literally one of my favorite cards in the cube. Literally one of my favorite cards in the cube. Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Magic's a good game. I mean, Soren, how does Soren die when we block him? When we block this guy? Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> This is rough. Oh, they did have tar pit. Good call. Good call.
I mean, we've seen Chromatic Lantern, Staff of Nin, like, and Hunger Back Walker. Rex Sage is 1,000% coming in. Uh, and Disenchant, actually. We have both of those, which is pretty sweet. Oh, we can play Elspeth and then keep up Abrupt Decay, but, like, everything dies here. They just go shoot Elspeth once or shoot a token. I don't think we can win this game. They just have too much pressure right now. Those have been good draws. All right. Uh, Rex Sage comes in. Disenchant comes in. Go to uh, minus. Minus just gives them four guys, though. Like it's we. It's easier for us to just deal with a hangerback walker on board than it is to deal with a minus, than it, than it is to deal with like five one ones. Plus, we just don't have an answer for their staff of men. Actually, I like Condemn a lot against um, Hangerback Walker. I think I have to go for the throat. Hero has not seemed great, especially as a double white card. I can see cutting that. I almost kind of like Vengevine because they have several Planeswalkers, but... I wonder if Blood Gift Demon is good. I'm going to put the Blood Gift Demon in just as a way to, like, draw cards. What's up, Billy? Good seeing you, buddy. Oh, I like this hand a lot. All right, now we got a now we got a game. So we want a Planeswalker effect that kills a creature? Like, wouldn't they just sacrifice their Hangerback Walker and make four tokens and kill the Liliana the very next turn? It's an interesting uh, argument for Liliana. That's actually a pretty good draw. <laughs> I feel like we just play that. See, and while while that is much a much worse card than Staff of Nin, the thing we want to do here is get ahead. Once we're ahead, we want to press our advantage, which is what we can do with Planeswalkers. We didn't see any Counterspells game one. They might have them, but... I still have not seen them. One, two, three, four... Um, I think that's good enough to keep both times. Like, we are one man away from just casting a Sorn. Oh, Chromatic Lantern. That I will kill. As well. This is unkind. <laughs> oh, man. See, this is how our game should go. Let's attack first. Yeah. 
Nope, we're gonna add a black here. Boop, boop. Oh, it resolves. Or resolve signature. So we've seen no counter spells yet, so that's the thing. And <laughs> Disenchant and Reclamation Sage are both very warranted inclusions in this game, so I'm okay with that. Uh, the reason we didn't attack with Lava Claw Reaches was because they could just have removal. If they had any removal, like in, with their, in their black blue deck, like I'd just rather not deal with that. I'd rather just play Planeswalker, make sure we advance our board state, and uh, plan for the next turn. I'm just a more conservative player that way. That's what's just, just that's just how life is. I missed the intagib that turn. What does that mean? You can't go to the face from Soren. You you can only hit planeswalkers and creatures. Oh, you guys are trying to correct me because you don't know how cards work. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> That's good times. That's my favorite. How come you didn't kill your opponent with your card that doesn't do the thing I think it does? Oh, well, you see. Oh, Instagib. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I'm sorry, pronunciation for dummies. I, I couldn't hear you. Is that... What was that? That was a good draw. Okay, so to be clear, this is a turn four, three Jace and a turn four Gideon if, if everything goes according to plan. Prismatic Cold Steel Heart. I'll name blue. I'm going to name blue, you see. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. I love you guys to death. Now, this hand is getting real juicy. I too have this thing. <laughs> How come you guys didn't go negative six to Soren's face? Well, you see, guys, that is not a legal play. Magic does not work that. Oh, we get to just go Jace when they have nothing on board? This is great. Into your own. Uh, now I have Elton John stuck in my head. I don't know why. Can't explain it. Reach into your own. Split him in split him Maelstrom Pulse in two lands. I'll choose pile two. Remember that one time you failed to push the four drop without revolt and thought MTG was bug? Yeah, I I do that all the time actually. I get revolt and uh what's the other one? What's isn't there one where it is morbid? I think I get revolt and morbid confused. So I'm like, oh a creature died, I got revolt. Cool. I don't care whose creature it is. I'm less jealous of all these sissy, sissy mana things. Rich into your room. Elton John. But Elton John. A sad song, Elton John. Is it Bloodgift Demon or is it Gideon Jiraga? Let's go Demon here. I'm your Demon Man, your Demon Man. This is where they censor us. Oh my god, everything's just resolving?
I cast theater without spellmaster all the time. I'm just so used to add three black being pegged on it. Yeah, I'm just like, it costs two mana, right? I don't understand. Sissy mana was coming by stage name, but then I didn't do it. Oh, was it because you were a sissy mana? Really? I get to draw two cards this turn. It's so exciting. It's probably the most exciting thing you can do in Magic. I like that you can also shoot your opponent with Blood Gift Demon. It's target player, so you can just be like, I choose you, my friend. They have no threatsies, so we'll just do this, Jowie. Oh, split them up. Split them up. This is how the deck is supposed to go, guys, just to be clear. Really? Oh. I'll choose pile two. All hope is gone. I'm trying to hit lands here. I'm trying to hit a green land specifically, so I'm gonna play advocate. Uh Nissa's pretty good. I'll just keep double Nissa. Yep. All right. Seems good. Our hand is literally Nickel Bolas, Gideon, Karn, Nissa that flips, Maelstrom Pulse. We have Jace on board, and we have a 5-4 and a 4-3. I feel like we're in good shape. Uh-oh. Here we go. That's a good one. I am... I'm impressed with that one. Did we miss a land drop? Okay. Hand is still good. Oh, uh, I haven't been to an FNM in a while, but that's not because I don't like FNMs. This is just because we want to play Nicol Bolas next turn and flip Nissa, so let's do that. Reaching through your room. I wonder what what turn we missed the land drop. It wasn't five because we hit. Oh no, we actually ramped one. We were only supposed to. No, wait, that doesn't make sense. Interesting. I don't know. I might have just forgot to play land. I'm not good at magic. Soren Porkov. Hmm. Oh, we definitely didn't ramp with Farseek. There's no Farseek. So we can either nickel bolus and negative seven to kill Soren, or we can Karn to kill this guy. Hmm. That's how Harmon JB. These are the questions we ask ourselves. Well, this is the only land we have, so. I 
I actually do like uh, plus one-ing Nicol Bolas here. Exiling two cards from their hand. Like, we can give them another activation with, with Soren. I don't care about that. I would rather just go to two cards in their hand. We don't care about Soren enough to kill it this turn. We do... Well, I will attack it. But... Damnation and Abrupt Decay. Alright, both those are good. <laughs> Turn him on, Elton John, this song is in my head. The song is Sad Songs Say So Much. I think it's just called Sad Songs, though. Elton John, Sad Songs. Yeah, it's sad songs, and then in parentheses, say so much. Well. Alright, so your last card is not removal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are we going to restart the game, guys? Anguished Unmaking. <laughs> Money for nothing and the checks for free. Oh, got him. All right, we're doing it. All right, let's go to let's go to the old deck editor screen. I wonder if we just want Reclamation Sage in the main deck. It's so good in this format. I think I do like the changes we made. It seemed like uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight green sources, that seems better. Maybe we do cut the hero for like a Reclamation Sage. It's easier to cast. I think it's more versatile. I also liked Blood Gift Demon in there. That was pretty good. All right, we're going to try it. Sage over Garrick? I would rather cut hero. Like hero at least is double. Hero is double white, which is a splash color. And this is a Planeswalker, which fulfills the criteria of playing with Planeswalkers. This isn't a dull black card, though. Maybe we don't want that. Maybe we just want the removal. I don't know. These are my favorite decks to play because they just do so many things. Keep. Snap keep, I believe. All I need is a two mana thing that does things, that ramps me or, you know, does a thing. This is like the most perfect land hand I've ever seen. We got double black, double green, double blue, double white. We have everything. Single red. Interesting. Well, at worst, we're going to be able to play turn four things, but boy, I wish we had a turn two thing. All hope is gone. God, I'm so tired of Goblin Robin Master. That's actually really scary right now because we don't have an answer on turn three. Come on. One time. Give me something to deal with this Rabble Master. Abrupt Decay. Maelstrom Pulse. Well... And Fensible's red cap combo. I mean, I'll take that, okay? Okay, Magic, I'll take it. It's a blocker. It's, it does a thing. Deal. I don't like it, but I'll take it. 
Gideon Jura. Actually, that could save us. I'll keep them both because we actually have the lands for it, and it's about at four three, so we can block. so much. What up, Chief? I got a a wild hunter over here. I feel like we just block here. Can they attack with Rabble Master, which is interesting. I mean, if you want a two for one, oh, you gotta you just hit a spell and shoot our face. Yeah, that's fine. Because that's your turn, and then we get to untap Garrick and kill Rabble Master, I guess, or Raska's Contempt Rabble Master. No prowess. Interesting. Wow. We have to keep our blocker? No way. Tragic slip? Fatal push. Sure. I think we actually survived. I think it's probably going to rain soon because Hunter is over here shaking. And it's weird because dogs can kind of sense it. I don't know how they do it, but... That's a really weird dog feature. What is this Twilight Mire Steam Vents? What's even going on with this deck? Oh my god. That is exciting. Oh my god, please, no! Thank god, I almost forgot to activate. Let's go to the main phase. Come on. All right. Um, I think we're just killing this guy. Maybe you're just okay, Monsanto. Did you ever think about that? So if we go to eight and then they attack it for four... I don't know what they're doing right here. <laughs> I'm going to add a color. I'm going to not add a color. Oh, I guess we're going to go to the end step, even though I'm tapped out. Sure. Just got to make sure you play at the exact right time, even though I'm tapped out and can't respond to you doing things like that in my main. What is this going to be? Did you just accidentally add the wrong mana for Braska's Contempt? No, I guess not. Coligon's Command. Get back, Rabble Master. That's annoying. I'm talking to you in the bathroom with me on my phone because I got a poop. Still thinking, hey man, everybody poops. All right. They didn't pre combat Rabble Master? Oh, they got back Ar Abbot of Carol Keep? Oh, and they played a Swamp up before Abbot of Carol Keeping. All right then. I'm okay with everything that's happening right now, just to be clear. This spicy gentleman. They got back Abbot instead of... Oh, Rabbit Master was exiled. Never mind. I'm not smart. I'm looking at the wrong window, so... Oh, we... <laughs> oh, the old concede with con Consecrated Sphinx ability on the stack. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. I don't think we actually want to board anything in here. Like, this is, I think this is too slow. Um, Adorned Pouncer might be cute to just block their stuff. Valor Stance isn't going to kill their guys. They don't have four toughness. Uh, Liliana, if they have Rabble Master, I'm not a big fan of Liliana. I think we're actually good like this. I think our deck is actually very, very good against them right now. Uh, maybe Reclamation Sage comes out in this matchup. We can try to bring Liliana in. I don't, like I said, I don't like Liliana 100% because. They do have tokens, but it could just stifle the beats a little bit.
It might be better than Rex Age here, so we'll see. And that's the... Wow, this hand is good. All right, we're doing it. Living Le Dream. And it gets... The rich get richer. Bidet, B-I-D-E-T, I believe. Oh, of course they play the Golgari Signet after we board out the the one dude. I hope they play a four mana creature that's not rekindling Phoenix. I hope it's something stupid like I don't know. No, oh, I didn't play anything. Yes. Let the lands flow through you. I'm actually not going to plus Liliana. I think all of our cards are better. Like, if we discard this, and they have Hero of Bladehold or something with haste, and they just kill this, or, like, Thunder My Hellkite, then we just waste to go for the throat. Um... I think all of our cards individually are better than... I think I just want to play Liliana to get her out there and to have an answer for... You know, if they play a guy in the future that doesn't have haste, we can just kill that. So... Not discarding feels weird, but I think it's correct. Yeah, see, that's fine. We can just kill that guy. I, I see, and that's the thing. I wouldn't want to discard Gideon because now we just have a Gideon. So, like, it doesn't even... But Liliana did kill a creature, and now we still have a Planeswalker on board. And any one discard, if we can find a useless card to get, to get rid of, we can very easily uh, bring Liliana back to back to life. Please get out of my life. Never want to see your face again. Threat 16. Do we just get aggressive and attack with Gideon? Then they... Nah, we'll just make you attack. Any land, we get to play Consecrated Sphinx? That's pretty good. I really don't want to discard any of these cards now, just to be clear. We could also kill all of these guys with Maelstrom Pulse. I'm worried that they have, like, a Kolagon's Command, though, so I really want to have a way to get rid of either uh, six zombies when they Kolagon's Command, or four zombies, rather, or the Grave Titan himself. Ideally, we engineer a situation where... Um, we get to Maelstrom Pulse all the zombies. They have no other creatures. And then we get to Liliana make them sack the... That is not going to work the way you think it works. There you go. Pretty good. Not great. Just fine. Get back Grave Titan. Yep. This is what we were afraid of. Oh, until I turn. Do we just attack your face? Maybe. So next turn, they're going to play Grave Titan, which is nice. 
I don't really want you to have Lilian on board though, so we're gonna get rid of that. I will discard Nicobolus God Pharaoh though. No, I won't. Soren? Yeah, we'll discard a Soren. Hmm. They have a thing to do. Well, since they actually might have removal, I think we do discard Nicobolus. Because now we can at least kill... Um, Yeah, I think they're getting rid of Consecrated Sphinx, which sucks. Yep, that was what we figured they'd do. Um, so now we at least have a way to get rid of the... The Grave Titan. Does they have one card in hand? It's just Grave Titan. Or one, tit one, one, one card after the Grave Titan. Oh, Connor Ryan, I have no idea whether you keep or mull that hand. That is not a format I am that familiar with. Yeah, see, right now I think getting rid of Nicobolus was just worse than having Nicobolus on board. Yeah, I think the Gideon attack was a little preemptive. I actually agree with you. Not ideal. gonna be a condemn oh that's actually very good all right so next actually this takes care of a lot of things and we get to keep up soren if they don't have a removal spell that's actually very good all right man fingers crossed Don't have like Braska's contempt. Come on. All right, Gideon, we lose, and that's fine because we can pulse the Zombos. I feel like we're on even footing here at least. What is that? Sacrifice a zombie? What is that? Oh, is it Sidisi? That's interesting. No. What? What is happening? Oh my god! Seriously? Oh wow. Come on. <laughs> uh, 
absolutely unbelievable. Sure. This game should not. We this we this was this was stupid. We messed up. We messed up there. Oh my god, that is vomiting inducing. Why would that need to go on YouTube? <laughs> that seems terrible. Uh, I actually like Mind Control now, now that they have Grave Titan. I'm bringing Mind Control. That seems... That's not something I want to relive. <laughs> oh, boy. That was amazing. Yeah, we're taking out the Liliana. Liliana was pretty bad there. Yep, we are bringing in Mind Control simply because they have Grave Titan and other creatures that are fine to steal. keep 1000% keep this hand one blue and we got a game one blue come on one time Nailed it. Live in that dream. Feels good. Feels good. Just fingers crossed for no Rabble Master, I guess. Appreciate it, Matt. Appreciate it. That's fine. That is fine. They have eight cards and they got a discard too? Great news. Great success. That's intriguing. I wonder if we just plus here. We don't really need anything. Yeah, we're just going to plus. Like, we have all the mana we need. We have six mana with this, double blue, double blue. We're just going to plus and maybe try to hit eight. This deck is a lot different than it looked in the game one when it was just like a planes, when it was just a an aggressive deck. Let's see what we can hit. Now, now I'll do it. Oh, we can just hit a Karn. I'm just going to take the Karn. Choose Pile 2. I'm not going to play Nissa until we can flip her on the same turn. Uh, because I don't want them to just kill her with a Victim of Night or something. Seems good. Seems good. Yo, I can have that. Looks like we made it. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. You don't have a way to deal with enchantments. I still have five cards. It's still a battle. Still have to maximize our resources here. Distended Mindbender again. That would be pretty good. <laughs> Ugh, it never gets any easier, my man. Looks like we didn't make it. That's so annoying.
never don't have it, do they? Sure. JC, thank you so much for the sub. Four months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I mean, the only good thing is that Vraska doesn't really do much, and if we hit a land, we can actually just kill her. This has been an emotional draft. I feel like I messed up the first round, the first game of this match. Or the second game, rather, last game. I see. Just hard cast Distended Mindbender. <sighs> Clearly. That's infuriating. Sure. Pact of Negation. During your upkeep, ultimate price. <laughs> oh my god. Sure. God, never didn't have it once. Victim Knight, Dismember, Grave Titan, Vraska, like Distended Mindbender for Karn and Nissa. Just just a applause worthy. Sure. We don't actually have double black, so it's not even an option here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go to seven. If we hit a land, we can play Lotus Cover, but that also means we hit a land. So. Yep. Wow, our hand went from amazing. Uh, to, yeah, it's an interesting choice. The whole deck is an interesting choice. I have no idea what's going on in this in this deck. At least we had a stipulation, so it makes more sense, I think. But wow. I guess that could have been worse. Cool. We get two turns. Stay of execution. Rev the fish? I also don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, sure. You got it. Congratulations. All right. Well, that was unfortunate. Uh, definitely lost to some of my own misplays, but definitely lost to our opponent just having everything at every single every single moment. So that's also a thing, and we would have drawn land into Soren. Sure. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope this tip was uh, reasonable. I'd love to do it again sometime because it was actually pretty sweet. And uh, we might do it again just to run it back because it was a cool stipulation, even though we only got one, we only went one, two. Um, either way, it's nice to play matches that are not super normal and super, uh, you know, just very straightforward. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.